Uh, good afternoon to everybody. Uh, I am very grateful for the effort uh, making by Sutra two times already uh, in uh, supporting the natural dyes and uh, in this case indigo in India and in the world. I really appreciate and I know how hard it is to organize this kind of event. Thank you. Anyway, I am Jesus Tiriza. Uh, La Raona, I come in from Auroville, India. Uh, I've been working with Indigo from 1993. Yeah, this is the Auroville Charter. One of the sentences of the Auroville Charter is the sentence is, uh, I feel more affinity than all of them, of course. Uh, they are very uh, uh, interesting or whatever. Uh, yeah. And then in this case, uh, our work in uh, natural lines is coming from the ancient times and it's something that maybe can be uh, something good for the future and for the present. This is why Aurobel wants to be one bridge between the past and the future, taking advantage for all discoveries from without and for within. Aurobel will uh, embody the spirit towards uh, future generations. Okay, my English and writing is not so good. Sorry for that. Anyway, uh, the Colossus of Nature, I founded the Colossus of Nature in 93. I want to tell you a little bit with pictures about my journey in reviving the indigo fermentation. Everything is starting by making this carpet. One friend of me in uh, Barcelona, designer, uh, is telling me, ah, I, you come back from Turkey, I really want to make a, a carpet to play chess, you can do something with your contacts in Turkey, and then I tried to do, but very difficult. And then in 1992, when I traveling in India, the second time, uh, I bore in a little bit in the, in the tourist activities or in the tourist uh, things, and then I decided to spend the time in doing something and, and, uh, and then I thought what to don't do in this carpet of my friend. Uh, and this is uh, because also I see the Kashmiris in Ladakh uh, in one shop selling the carpets, the silk carpets, and I thought it's very good material for this idea of my friend of, of the silk uh, chess game. And anyway, um, anyway, uh, and then I decided to, to, to do that. And the person in Ladakh is half the father with houseboats in Srinagar and Nagin Lake. And then we go, I go there. And then I started to one month to go around. Uh, they give me one Sikara. I'm learning how to uh, handle one small boat that they call Sikaras in, in Srinagar. And I can go to all the islands and to all the different parts of the Srinagar myself alone and see a little bit, stay with the, f because they are, Indian people is there, very welcoming. And then they see you and they, they, they call in you and then, in this way I, I come to know more and more and more about the carpets, how is make the carpets, what is the difference between one style and another of technologies or things like that. In the same time in the evenings, I draw in a little bit the carpet and uh, somebody give me one old book and I choose in motifs for the carpet, for the future carpet. Later, they put me in contact, my houseboat man, is the father of uh, uh, Joseph, uh, is the one who is going to make the carpet later, is put me in contact with these people, because uh, they are specialized people who in design the carpets. They have these square uh, papiers, and they draw in the carpet, depending what size is going to be the carpet, and depending the density of the, of the peels, is have more big or more small the, the, the thing. After that, in the Persian carpet, uh, they need somebody to, each line is a square line, to read and to make one book. For example, first uh, dot black, uh, second dot red, three dots white, one dot red. They read in the full carpet and they're making this book, this, this paper is in, uh, uh, in this, no? And they're making this with Persian names and, and numbers. And then after the carpet is starting, and then after the carpet is in the half of the way, and anyway, I am every day in the Nagin Lake, pristine waters, um, and ecologic, uh, from the ecologic I come in movement I come in from Spain, 
Uh, I see all this movement of carpets uh, around the Nagin Lake and the Duck Lake, and of course the new introductions of um, detergents for the houses, and I see the lakes already starting to be affected by the surplus of, um, of uh, these uh, nutrients for the, from the phosphates from the, from the shops, and also, of course, from the chemicals dyes of the carpets and the products to finish in them. Then I started to think in myself, what I can do to, to do these carpets in the ancient way, with colors like in the past. And then I started to look in, in, in Srinagar, but nobody knows anything about natural dyes. Anyway, uh, we, I go out of Srinagar uh, when the carpet is in this uh, uh, level, and I started to look around India for places where I can find artists to make the figures. Finally, after going to Karnataka, to going to Agra, making samples with semi-precious semi -precious stones, uh, finally we found in Jaipur one colony that uh, the government has put many years ago to work with Ibori. But Ibori is, anymore, is not anymore uh, uh, allowed, and they're working with Ebano and sandal boot. Anyway, these two people who find, I found, they're an incredible artists with details and the mustache and the nails and the eyes, everywhere so good uh, that never I see again such a quality in this chess game that you can see in many shops of India, but this quality is incredible. Anyway, and then from there, I, in Jaipur, I, I've been introduced to to uh, natural dance through uh, Weaver Service Center of Jaipur. Uh, at the same time, I'm waiting for these people to finish these two, two sets, and I go into Bagru, and I go into the Weaver Service Center, and they tell me so good that they are the natural lines, but not so much more, only the list of plants. In Bagru, I see dying alizarin, already they tell me it's the synthetic uh, um, part of the plant in this time, in 92. And then I understand that it's not natural lines, but it's um, uh, synthetic dyes uh, uh, with uh, some kind of remember natural dyes. Anyway, and then, uh, and then, uh, 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 in the when we collecting the when I collecting when I going around India for for looking where to do the figures for the chess game, I pass Auroville and um, as I as I am in yoga from 18 years old, I know about Auroville, about Sir Aurobindo, about Mother, and. Um, I find que, 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 uh, I want to live there, and then I ask to live, and then I decide to come back to live. And then uh, I come back to Delhi, I take the carpets, I come back to Spain, I arrange everything, I come back to Auroville, and then the first day in Auroville, I start to look for plants. Meaning I go to meet one botanist, they tell me, I ask him for botanist. Anyway, quickly I... I, uh, somebody tell me in Bangalore, in, in uh, Church Street, is one department of um, craft from the government, and uh, que there can be information about natural dyes. Nobody tell me about uh, Chandra Muli, que some of them here, they remember him, most probably. And then uh, um, I, uh, I organized one training in Auroville uh, from this uh, office. And it's coming a few people to, to give the training, but I found that the, the knowledge that they have is uh, full of uh, polluting uh, elements like uh, heavy metals, uh, chromium, tin, uh, copper, uh, poisonous, or for indigo, hydrosulfito. And then it's not the one, th it's not the thing that I thought. Que, uh, um, I, I don't thought that it's the call of the of the society to 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 try to see if of all of us we can find ways to produce the same things that we use in, but more eco-friendly way. And then this why never I consider to use uh, um, hydrosulfito. In fact, after this training, I thought to drop, because it's no knowledge, it's non, I don't know from where to learn, and thought to drop. But in the same day, somebody gave me one list of books, ancient books, uh, from 1890 and from 1740. And uh, I've been, I go to Chennai, I collect, uh, and I found few of them in library. They photocopy for me, and I started to learn in them, to, 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 to study them without knowing English, and then I some, have somebody for translating me, and finally, with the books, I started to learn English with these books, because I am so interested in what they are writing, and I started to reproduce all the recipes. And about indigo, also, I try what they say, and this and that, but it's not happened. 
And then uh, Mr. Ambalagan, que uh, is the person que more grateful I am uh, about this, all this work I've done. Mr. Ambalagan is the father of Brahmachandran, que has been here, Ambalagan. Ambalagan, uh, because indigo has happened only, f only one hour from my place, meaning the only plantation in India uh, uh, today is in, 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 in Kongarapatu, in the village of Mr. Ambalagan. And then uh, I used to go there with my bike, with my motorbike, because it's so close to, to, to where I live. And uh, I buy a few kilos uh, for the experimenting, for trying to do. And Mr. Ambalagan tell me, I used to sell to one place in, uh, in, in Karnataka, and in, uh, uh, in north of Karnataka, still maybe they're doing uh, fermentation. And then this place is called Ilkal. It's famous for the saris. And then uh, I take the, the route and I, I present myself there. And I, I've been received very welcoming from the family. I don't have photos from this. Uh, uh, the monsoons of these years has ruined these photos. It's no digitals. Uh, the, one, the few ones that is there is because uh, Remain and I uh, uh, make a, a, a scam. Uh, and then uh, uh, in Ilkal, I've been introduced a little bit in the fermentation. This uh, uh, family is doing the Saris is have one small workshop of fermentation. They tell me immediately that they're working with synthetic indigo. I find it's okay, it's the same molecular. And then I, uh, I understand a little bit, I write in things. I don't know English in this time, they don't know English also. And then let's see how we, you can imagine how we communicate. But we communicate. And then... Um, I come back to Auroville, I try to do what they say, and, and it don't happen. And then I thought, okay, I come back there, and I managed to convince somebody to come with me and stay a few months with me in Auroville. And this is what I've done. And then I, been, I come back there, and then uh, with my no English, uh, I managed to convince to somebody, uh, and I, I have all the uh, uh, agreements for how much he's going to receive, and how he's going to live, and what food he's going to eat, and everything. With the wife, you know, how it's happened, these things. And then, um, and then I managed to bring two people, uh, Mr. Subas, who is the more older, and this man, I don't remember what is the name of him. Uh, anyway, and then I managed to bring these two people, I live in Kit House in this time, in, 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 in Kit, the roof, Kit. Yeah. Anyway, and then uh, mm, they, we are starting to uh, work together, uh, before they come in, I prepare four pots. Uh, Mr. Ambalagan helping me with all this. Also one big stone that you're going to see later uh, to beat the cotton. And then this is the, the puya of, um, this, is the, this photo is from the puya of the starting of the pots. Uh, and then this is the first pots, but this is already after one month or something. You can see already a little bit foam there, blue foam. It's not the first day. Anyway. And then this is uh, uh, the first workers uh, uh, and me learning how to handle the cotton, how to uh, uh, prepare for dyeing, how to dine with them. And then more photos of this. This is the famous or infamous stone. Uh, uh, in the tradition of uh, uh, north of Karnataka, before dyeing, they scoring the, the cotton by uh, working with the foods and water and after beating with this big thin and also after dying. Then we've done this for several years, maybe for 10 years, we've done this process in the colors of nature. Anyway, here we're learning how to handle this big thing. And here is also the beginning of the part of the scoring, working with the foods, with the cotton. It's, it's not so, after I understand that it's not the best scoring to have the best fastness because uh, it still is uh, not totally clean, the, the micro tubes of the uh, cotton fiber. Anyway, learning how to dine, learning how to this. I write in everything of what they're doing, everything that they put in the pot. I measure them and I write in. At the same time, I, I read in all what I can in Spanish or another language, or indigo, another language I know. I mean. And then uh, this is more training of how to handle. And this is the view of the first workshop of the Colors of Nature. This is in one community called Aurobrindaban in Auroville. And then it's already green, meaning first yellow and after blue. And blue. And after later, I started to see because we are near to the sea, the temperature is quite okay for the fermentation, and I started to see if I can handle in barrels. And also preparing to go to my Auroville, give me one place. I mean, give me. 
uh, is no property in Auroville. And then uh, Auroville allow me to work in one place or, or, or give me one place to work. And then I need to translate everything there and then I start to see the, the, how, can, how can I handle the, 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 the plastic barrels. This is a little view of the workshop in Aurobrindaban. And anyway, this is uh, the soul of all what I'm doing. This is, the, this is the water tratament system of the course of nature, meaning as my intention in all this work is to see if it can be alternatives for the, test, for the polluting textile industry, from the beginning, and I understand that all the activities of the human being is polluting. Only the nomads that can be que they doing PP today here and today there is, have less impact of other things. Any, anybody of us is living in one house with our septic tank, with our uh, detergents, with our um, this, we polluting the aquifers solo solo. And then this is, as I say, is the soul. This is the complete water treatment system uh, dr driving, and this is. This is the first month, uh, most probably, of the, the Colors of Nature in Auro Brindaban. This is working already. And then before starting to work already, we have the water treatment system. And then this, this is the building of, uh, the, of here, the first one, the, 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 the office. And then the back part is the indigo workshop. This is the indigo workshop before, putting, before the excavation and put the pots. This is the tank. This is uh, my house, because I thought I need to live nearby the, 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 the workshop, because in the night is going to be things hanging. Anyway, in the first years, we prepare, uh, in the Colors of Nature, where we are now, we prepare 30 pots. With the four pots that we have in Auro Brindaban, we multiplied all these for 30 pots of 350 liters each, and one pot of 2,500 liters uh, and one pot, this one, of 7,000 liters. Because I see in the old literature from Europe that they have, with pastel, they have big tanks of 5,000, 7,000 liters. And I thought that maybe it can be better for dyeing uh, more quantity of fabrics or things like that. Uh, anyway, all this has been a lot of um, tries and errors. Here we have... Uh, for two, three months, we have good uh, uh, fermentation going on, but after starting to rotten the fermentation. Um, you need to understand that the system I learned from Gole Guda, uh, with this system, the water and the pots can be the same water for many years. For example, our, our pots, they have the water for 24 years old now. And then uh, I discontinue, I stopped to, to working with pots of 2,000 liters or 7,000 liters after few years, after five or six years, I don't remember exactly. Uh, and then now I understand what is the technical problem that we have in this time. Um, I think uh, que, que we don't have good steering and then um, different microclimes is, is developed in the fermentation. Uh, different kind of microbes because different microclimes. Anyway, this is the 350 liters uh, uh, pots workshop, where is the 30 pots. This is half of the workshop, it's, it's more in somewhere. And part of the uh, work is, is with me. I have the good chance, que, uh, after two years of, um, of uh, working, I find uh, uh, one person applied to work with me, Kumar, uh, uh, pick up. Uh, the fermentation, because the before work is nobody pick up the fermentation, because the fermentation is not formulas. You need to do what you need to do depends what's happened the day before. And that's why you need to have, try to have track of each pot to see what to do in the pot. Anyway, um, this is different uh, kind of um, mm, mm, lots of dine. In all these years, uh, um, we've been experimenting a lot. Much more I want to experiment in, but uh, all the experiment is costly. Uh, and it's not the same, meaning many times you need to experiment in bulk. You cannot, they, if you do in small quantities or in, or in laboratory, you don't going to have the answers for production. This is why uh, uh, sometimes the experimenting is costly. Anyway, a few years ago, uh, maybe in the 2000, with uh, uh, Samogan, who is present here, we make... Uh, one tryout, Samogan buy this uh, second-hand uh, uh, fiber dye machine, 
and we make one try out to see if we can find, if we can dine uh, uh, fiber uh, uh, in uh, machine from the pots and convert the water to the pots. Anyway, here we're learning again a lot. Uh, in one point, even we go to consult Mr. Gujarani. Gujarani, many of you here, they're going to know who he is. He's one of the, yeah, one of the persons who has been uh, uh, um, reviving the, the, the natural lines in India. Uh, uh, head of the, uh, before of the uh, chemical dyeing uh, department in, in uh, ITL Delhi. Anyway. And then here we learn a lot about the indigo dyeing uh, with these uh, experimentings because we, we, what we're trying here, for example, is with nitrogen uh, uh, gas, try to make one vacuum in the first and uh, try to take the maximum air from the, from the, uh, from the machine. And then after take the vacuum, put nitrogen to see if after we introduce the dyne and it's not coming oxidized. Anyway, many experiments, because they don't go so fine, and uh, we're learning a lot. <laughs> it don't work. And then, this is, the this is the head of the families of, um, of uh, Hasilkar is the, is, the, is, the, uh, is the family name, of uh, the person who has come to teach me in, uh, from Goli Guda in, uh, in Auroville. This person is the one who arranged uh, Mr. Subas to come to me, uh, to come to help me. And then we visited him in these years, I visited him then two, year, two times. Uh, for example, in 2004, because this is the photo from 2004, I've been received uh, I, um, one grant to make one project in natural dyes, and I thought that the best I need to do is to, uh, and then in this grant I need to do trainings, I need to teach uh, natural dyes uh, and indigo to, uh, but also the other natural dyes to craftsmen in India, and I thought that, that they w need to be the first ones in the training. This is why I go to the village, I invite in them, and I bring one member of the family and Subas for one month also to, to Auroville. And then uh, we're giving them training in all the other colors, if they use it or no, it's, the, it's up to them. And then this is Mr. Hasilkar. Hasilkar means dyer, indigo dyer. Is the, the family name. And this is the, pocho, the photo in 2004, uh, meeting again, and they saw me because they working with um, synthetic indigo. Uh, still, I don't understand them well because I understand English in this time, but this, they don't speak English. Here is they doing this uh, scoring. This is the grinder for, for indigo in the village. This is the pot. The pot of them is around 100, 120 liters something like that, they do in traditional hangs. It's good for, for that. And this is Kumar, um, uh, my, the person who is learning from me and is my master dying in my place. Uh, is dying one t-shirt there in the pots of them. And this is the result with one deep black blue. This never we can do in uh, fermentation. And this is what the craftsman is doing today in India. They, they, they have synthetic indigo or natural indigo and hydrosulfito, and they can do black, blue, and one dip. And for us, for this, for doing in fermentation, we need 20 dips or more. Anyway, this is the John Ferd person of the Hasinkal family, who is coming one month to learn in the other natural lines in our place. Again, this Kumar is uh, right side. And uh, yeah, one person of the Hasinkal family. This, this other family in the same village, I recommend you to, to any of you to visit this village. You can see the richness that has been in this village in the past because they do in brocado, they do in fantastic brocado in this village. Uh, but today you don't see richness in the village. But you can see that before has been appreciated and now not so much the work of them. No, this is my conclusion, I don't know. And then beating the, with the same instrument and checking myself the color that they do in there. And this is one monk is preparing one one warp there, it looks like a gandhi a little bit, this way is. And this is the loons uh, that they have there with yakar, uh, uh, the very old yakar, all in boot. And this is the cloth uh, brocado of the village. And this is the next day when we arrived in Auroville. 
And then is the meeting of Kumar with Subhas, with the, because I'm planning with them, uh, I'm planning to make one uh, competition. I'm going to give them one pot to each of them. And I'm going to Misura men after one week who have more density, who dissolve more indigo. But the people from the village, they fail. They fail because they don't remember anymore what is the smell. And this is why Mr. Subhas have a little problems to teaching me uh, uh, years before, because they don't remember the smells. And if you don't remember the smell in the Indian tradition, you don't know how to handle the pot because everything is with the smells. And uh, we recuperate the smells. Kumar and me, we could recuperate the smells in this time, in all these years. But they, they, they can know uh, uh, this. And they fail, and we don't do the, the competition. But we continue. There's many things to learn, all a part of the handling the pot. You also need to know the routines of the workshop. And many things we learn, everything we're learning from them. But, and then, in 2000, last year, I've been again in the village, and I go with somebody in Okanara, and I come to know that they're using that synthetic indigo for more than 50 years, that the grandfather of them, or meaning the more old person of them, they don't know how to do rarely fermentation. And then um, they're doing some kind of mishap. They don't work in for the market, they're doing the service of them, meaning they don't work in for for eco-friendly uh, market or for uh, anything. They continue doing in this village the saris that they do in always, that they go in for the same kind of people who appreciate the saris of them. Nothing to do with natural nice. Anyway, uh, this is uh, work we done in all these years in the Colors of Nature. In this case, batik. In this case, I think it's for levis, uh, bandanas. Uh, different colors in indigo, the bandanas drying. This is in 94, no, 2004, 2006, we training many people. This is only big, a small part because uh, this is only the last uh, report I need to give. Uh, I'm preparing things to show to all of you. But uh, anyway, this is uh, part of the people that we give one week training. And when we done these trainings in 2004, we given to um, one group of three people uh, one pot. We have uh, practical times, all practical, meaning they, uh, in the other colors they need to do 30 kilos per day. In indigo they need to come up with the pot. And we have a lot of theoretical um, also uh, times. And then uh, in my understanding is one is very good training we give to all these people. Some of them you can see them here. Um, maybe some of them you know them. Many of them they don't apply later all this uh, knowledge. Of course, uh, building one workshop for fermentation, you need, to do, you need to do the roof, you need to do the, the walls, you need to do the door, you need to put the pots. Um, when you're working with hydrosulfito, you need only 200 liters second hand barrel, cutting by half. And the, with this barrel, you can do the same production than us uh, with 30 pots. Because anyway, with one dip, you do uh, uh, like a 20 dips of us. And then maybe because of this, they don't introduce. This is part of the research that we've done. We prepare and we make working uh, one prototype for indigo pot uh, controlled by computer and sensors. We never done uh, uh, making this in big because in this project, you know what happened in India sometimes with the projects or in, or in many part countries, not only in India. And then at one point, Money has don't come to the project. I don't know where it's stock, or if I know, I don't tell you, but you can imagine. And then uh, we done the small prototype, has been given the money for, for, for doing the big prototype, the, uh, the, the 50,000 liters uh, digester for indigo, but never this money arrived to the colossal nature. It's lost somewhere. And then uh, pity because uh, in this project we have invented also one dye machine for hangs with nitrogen atmosphere and, uh, and the digester. If, if this money has not been lost, like a lot of money is lost in all these uh, hemispheres, uh, uh, all this has been done today, all this you can visit today. This, uh, uh, I put a little bit different uh, machines that uh, 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 has been in the past. This is one machine. Uh, uh, in Indigo Dine has not been developed a lot of machines because has been go from small to big in one way. 
meaning from small workshops in the houses to the big industry of the de denim, uh, starting maybe 90 years ago in, uh, in USA. And then this way is not many machines for dyeing with indigo. This is the pots uh, of uh, my new pots three years ago I put on. This is the, is 11 pots of 1,000 liters each. Here now already in working. Uh, doing denim in Hanlum. Uh, we don't do it only indigo, we do in uh, all the colors, all the colors is not possible to say, but many uh, different colors in uh, natural dyes, black, red, pink, purple, orange, gray, khaki, uh, I don't know. Uh, this is one collection that we done with um, uh, in denim with our uh, uh, natural dyes and handloom. And with this collection is coming, the uh, uh, Levy is coming interesting and then is asking us one collection of five colors uh, a few years ago. Uh, the pity is that they don't continue, but anyway, they supporting still us. This is the new workshop that I prepared now. I hope this will be ready for March, uh, for March of the next year meaning in four months or five months from now, of uh, 62,000 liters of fermentation, 62 pots uh, um, of 1,000 liters each. And thank you to all of you.